What is going on guys, we are here with game 2 between a kick-ass and Kanto for ulti round 4 losers bracket. So I know this team is another Bengay team, this is Elite Excadrille with rocks, uh, earthquake, spin and toxic. This is a SD Kartana and it's a sub SD actually with 40 spit death EVs so that um, Toxapex doesn't break the, the substitute with Scald. I know this team because Blender used it in the video and I snatched it. <laughs> And it's, uh, I think, Leaf Blade and Sacred Sword, so it's, uh, it doesn't have Steel Stab. This Greninja, I think it can be um, changed. It's either Specs or Water Room Z. It's Ash Gren. This is a Specs Coco. This is a bulky Halucha spread uh, set with um, Ruse, Tide Jump Kick, Acrobatics, and Swords Dance. And the Scepter is Nature Power. Um, that's pretty interesting because you can lure in stuff like Celeste Dealer. Nature Power turns into Thunderbolt in Electric Terrain. So you can weaken Celeste Dealer with uh, this tech with his lure for Halucha, which is cool, and weaken it for um, Kartana as well, to, so that's uh, in range from all pummeling guaranteed, Fist Death Celestealer. But yeah, looking at kick as team, he used this versus my man Sorry last round, if I'm not mistaken. This Banner Weavile, Solvest Tornadoes, uh, if I recall correctly, Defensive Lando. I don't remember if this is Specs or AV, but I think it's double AV. Mega Mobile, I assume SD, and the Ladi, I don't remember if it's Scarf or Z-Move. If it's not Scarf, his speed control is only Ice Shot and a Sucker Punch from these two. And then a bulky backbone, so it doesn't it doesn't necessarily have to be scarf, but um, I would still prefer. Hmm. Like if I was using the team, I would still prefer to have a scarf or so. But he doesn't really have another Z move user, so I'm thinking that's probably Z move. But yeah, looking at it uh, now that I talked about the teams, um, Landris gets weakened easily if Excadrill lead Excadrill Toxic Landris, and then um. Halucha becomes a problem. Halucha can run to kick as a team late game. He let off with Magnezone, anticipating probably Kanto to lead with the Greninja. So um, I understand why he led with Magnezone, but it didn't work out. He just led with Drill. It was a safe play at Sash anyway. So why is my computer lagging? Let me get rid of that mouse real quick. So now uh, Kanto can go for Toxic here. If kick as has Rocky Helmet, this works out for him really nicely because he can go for Earthquake, bring the Drill down to the Focus Sash. Then he can go for Rocks, and if this Drill tries to spin it, does to Helmet, if he is Helmet. Um, but yeah, if I recall correctly, this is Helmet, because he, like I said, he used this team versus Moment Sorry last round. So he's obviously gonna throw out a Toxic here. That's a step one for Halucha and Katana to become really threatened to kick as his team. Land was getting weakened by Toxic. Um, like I said, this is uh, SD Order Pummeling, so whenever this comes in later on the Magnus Zone, you can threaten it out with a potential um, Order Pummeling. And Kikatha is most likely gonna go back into Lando, and if he breaks that, he can go for Sub SD later, and then he can weaken his team. And he weakened the team for Halucha. Specs Coco also looking like a threat. Um, if he Volt switches on Magnus Zone, then he can get in the Kartana. Um, most likely the, Co the Halucha is not gonna be coming in that much. He misses a Toxic, that sucks. Halucha is not gonna be coming in that much early because um, you wanna use it late game because you don't wanna waste your Electric Seed for the Unburden Boost. So he gets up the rocks now, and if he tries to spin here and this Lando is Helmet, then it doesn't work, as it, that, is, that is the case. Um, so I assume he's gonna go... Yeah, exactly, I was about to say Greninja. He's gonna fire off a Hydro Pump here. He doesn't have good switch-ins. Um, but yeah, he can go to his one of these two, and then he can see if it's Specs or Watery on Greninja. But yeah, he has like, no reason not to Hydro Pump here. And yeah, he goes into Tornadoes. I assume this is Max HP AV. It's like the... I think, the, in my opinion, the best turn set, and like it's also the most common AV set. Now you can go into Ladi because um, the damage tells us that it's uh, Specs Greninja, I'm pretty sure. Because that is a fuck ton, considering this is AV uh, Tornadus. So he doubles into Coco, anticipating the Ladi. I assume that was a gold play. He knew that Kick as I wasn't gonna sack the Tornadus. And now he can go for. Um, I was about to say Volt Switch, but it's in the, the Magna Zone. But he doubles into Katana. Katana would have. Covered all options. It would have covered the Landris and it would have covered, covered the Magnus Zone. That was a fire play on Kanto's part. He can threaten this out, like I said earlier, with, like, with the Z all pummeling. So Kikesa is gonna be f uh, most likely going to be forced into his Landris. And if he breaks that, he can just go for Substitute uh, or SD. But Sub is like pretty free in that scenario because even if he stays in with his Magnus Zone, you only lose 25% of your health, which is one of the reasons why I like Sub a lot. Uh, like in some scenarios, because you can just scout for it. Like if your opponent stays in and you sub, you don't lose anything, you only lose a bit of health. So you SD'd up, he picks up the Landris with a plus one Leaf Blade. This Katana is not max attack. Like I said earlier, it has like a, a 40 in spa death. So yeah, now he's gonna be uh, going into his Weavile here to revenge the Katana, threaten it over the Icicle Crash on knockoff. Most likely Icicle Crash. 
And yeah, if he locks into Icicle Crash or Knockoff, um, Kanto can, especially if he locks into Icicle Crash, Kanto can, after he sacks this Kartana, or he sacks, he can sack a Kartana or Scepter, but after he does that, he can go back into Greninja and basically, yeah, I would say get a kill with the Greninja. Not guaranteed though, because Hyrum still has to hit, and Ladi can also. How healthy is the Ladi? I don't remember. I think the Ladi is healthy enough to come in on pump. But if it's not Scarf, it might be it might get to it KO'd. So yeah, um, he's gonna sack the Kartana here, I feel. He's not gonna get another chance to set up. Uh, the Bandit Icicle Crush picks it up. There's the Coco, and since he doesn't have a uh, ground type, he can fully Volt Switch here, because Volt Switch kills the Weavile, I assume. And it specs Coco. And if he goes Magnezone, he gets momentum. And yeah, now he can go into his um, Sceptile and Focus Blast this, because if it's a Salt Vest... Oh, I guess he can go... Nah, I, be, I know that Sceptile doesn't have Earthquake, like I said, I have the team because Blender used it in the video. If Sceptile had Earthquake, that would be a cool tech here. But I guess he's just gonna Focus Blast. Um, he goes in a Lottie there, expecting the Focus Blast slash Earthquake. He misses. And if this Lottie is choice and goes for Draco here... He goes for Nature Power because I think he wants to sack off the Scepter. We do see Ladi is not Scarfed, so I assume it's the Psychic Ladi. Um, because the Kick as I used that a few times in the tour games lately. Okay, now he kills it. But if Ladi was Scarfed and killed the Scepter with Draco, I think then he would have just gone into Halucha later. And he could have set up. Because Halucha gets a defense boost. So Aisha and Sucker Punch both don't do that much. And he also has Roost, so if the Ladi stays into Draco, him, he can just Roost that off. And he can just SD and then he can just clean the game with Halucha. So yeah, if the Ladi... It was not choice Scarf, but I think it's Psyche MZ. So that's why Kanto also killed it. Because if, if um, minus 2 Psyche MZ still would have done uh, way too much to Halucha, I assume. So yeah, he just sacks off the Scepter here to Ice Shard. Um, there's like a lot of things I'm trying to talk about, but they're... I don't want to miss the trans life. So now he's gonna go into his... Um... Yeah, God. Why can I not speak? He knows he's locked into Ice Shard, so Greninja gets a kill here um, with Hydro Pump. He could have also gone into Coco, but I guess he didn't wanna. He wa he just wanted to go Greninja because there was freeze and there was locked into Ice Shards resisted, and he can uh, save Coco's electric to rainfall later. Um, for Halucha, that hmm. Magnuson can uh, has to be a Salt Vest. Um, I think that's we know that already from. Do we know that from the damage from earlier? But yeah, otherwise it dies if it's not a Salt Vest. But yeah, Kanto's up, gonna go off this being a Salt Vest here. He's gonna switch into Coco, I assume. Get the Electric Terrain back up. And yeah, I guess I can go for Volt Switch or like T-Bolt here. But yeah, that was like something I forgot to mention earlier. Yeah, like minus two, minus two Psyche would have done a fuck down to Halucha. Um, if he was Garf, like I said, he just won with Halucha. If the Draco connected and hit the Sceptile. If, if he kept that set, I assume he kept that set, it's like a bulky and HP invested Halucha with like Roost. Um, so usually you see Drain Punch on this Electric Seed Halucha, but on this uh, Bangay team it's Roost if I recall correctly here. Yeah. Not even Scarf, literally trying hard to lose to Greninja. <laughs> but yeah, he's gonna be switching out because uh, Greninja kinda just wins the game by connecting hard by like he, had, he still has to hit some Hydro Pumps later on. And Halucha also kind of wins by, um, if he gets some prior chip damage on a mobile, then um, Halucha wins by clicking high jump kick. But the, those moves are still in, both inaccurate, so Kikessa can still potentially bring this game back. So he just Volt Switch here as he gets the electric terrain back up for his Halucha. Um, if he would have died there to like a T-Ball or Flash Can, then he could have... Mm -hmm. Yeah, then he would have had to go Halucha and HJK, I think. He wouldn't have, he wouldn't have been able to ST because the Magnezone can bob the Halucha easily. So he's gonna have to go for Sucker Punch here because otherwise his MOBA gets blown away by T-Bolt. And now he can go Greninja here. And Hydro Pump, I think, kills. Or if MOBA is really heavily HP invested, it might be a roll. But Hydro Pump probably kills... But Kanto might not want to risk Hydro Pump, so he has to think about his plays here. Hmm. Because if he Dark Pulses, that might bring the Mobile into range from High Jump Kick. And High Jump Kick has more, accru more accuracy than Hydro Pump. So the, uh, Kanto obviously wants to have higher odds to win. So like 90% move is obviously uh, 
higher chance to hit than 80% move, pretty obvious. So yeah, I assume high jump kick obviously doesn't kill from here. So if he goes into Halucha first and high jump kicks, then he has to hit three hydro pumps after to win the game. And Greninja might also die to the combination of uh, Sucker Punch and Sucker Punch and Ice Shot. I have I don't we we'll have to see when Greninja comes out how healthy it is. And I also kind of rely on the S2S chat to like post a calc because I don't really want to open my calc at the moment. Hmm. I had some bad nets, so like I'm not gonna risk any like DC and open the second tab. But yeah, I assume he's gonna go Greninja, click Dark Pulse, uh, bring this more while in range from his, uh, from High Jump Kick, and if he makes that play, he wins by just clicking High Jump Kick, because um, Dark Pulse I assume does around 30%, um, maybe a bit more even. And high jump kick should do around 60. It should be able to do around 60 to a mobile, so it should be in range. And we will obviously dies to acrobatics, especially with the rock damage that it took already. And yeah, Magnuson dies to HJK, so he still has to hit HJK. Yes, mobile is awkward by pump, but I assume, especially if it runs a good amount of speed. Usually they run like I think 90 HP or 92 HP, something like that. Yeah, after rocks. Okay, I don't need to check anymore. I, I I could think I would think this is still a roll, but probably heavily in Greninja's favor. Hydro pump, but like I said, he doesn't want to risk it. That's why he thought about it so long, probably. So he's gonna go for dark pulse. He bring this in range uh, from high jump kick, like I said, and then oh, that's what I assume he's gonna do because he thought about it so long. Because if he hydros here, that would be like. Like I've talked about it the entire time, the, the chances are higher to win with HJK than with Hydro Pump. Pretty obvious math, 90%, 80%. Yeah, so Dark Pulse brings it in range from HJK most likely. He was probably running exact cards if if it has a high chance or guarantee chance to kill with Dark Pulse into High Jump Kick to make sure uh, if it's worth it to go for that play or if it's more worth it to go for the Hydro Pump for hitting the Hydro Pump. So now we will see what he decided, but I assume he's gonna make the Dark Pulse play. It's like I've just run, I've just been running like. It's just a head calc. I, I just assume Dark Pulse into HJK kills Mobile. Maybe it's like a roll. I don't know it. I haven't run the calc. But it should be able to kill Mobile. But Dev is not that great, even though it gets a boost after Megging. And Ash Greninja, you see this 153 special attack. 153, beast. Specs, step, Dark Pulse. So it goes in the Magnezone here. Um, I think the reason why Kick is doing this is. Um, because he w he's wasting the electric terrain, he's wasting the electric terrain. Uh, now the electric terrain ends, which means uh, Kanto's game plan doesn't work anymore. So this means um, if he stays in with Greninja here, now he has to switch exactly. He has to switch because if he stays in with Greninja, the electric terrain ends. Halucha doesn't outspeed Mawa, uh, doesn't outspeed uh, Weewa. We obviously it outspeeds Mawa, but Halucha would not outspeed the Weewa if he would have gone for uh, if he would have lost electric terrain because then he doesn't get the electric seed right so the greninja is this a 50 50 kind of sucker punch into ice shot kills the greninja from here it's quite obvious greninja has bad defense so this is a 50 50 um if he goes for water shuriken and kick as goes for sucker punch kanto wins but if kick as predicts that because Mova obviously lives the water shuriken and he goes for t punch then kick as wins but if kanto goes for hydro pump and um, Kick Asa doesn't go for Sucker Punch, then Kanto wins as long as he connects Hydro Pump on Mowal and Hydro Pump on Rewild. So it's not only 50. Yeah, okay. I feel like I, I, I like Kanto's play there. He got it correct. Because uh, Hydro Pump is only 80% accuracy, so Kick Asa might have thought that he might have won He hits another Hydro Pump, so Kick, um, Kanto wins this 2 0. Um, really cool game there at the end. Um, some 50s and everything. Uh, kind of complicated. But I think I figured everything out. Um, whatchamacallit. Uh, I feel like Kick-Ass I predicted him to not go for Hydro Pump because it's, he would have to hit 2 and it's only 80% accuracy. And Water Shuriken is like a guaranteed hit. I don't, I don't know how to like put it in words, but I just figured that he thought that he wouldn't go for the inaccurate move. But it was just uh, basically a coin flip. So if I was kick as there, what I would have done is I would have thrown a coin what move I would click because... I mean, you could think about it for a while and try to outplay your opponent, but there's like... Yeah, sometimes you can do that, but I feel like some 50-50s it's like hard to do that, and it's 
just a coin flip coin flip thing um let me know in the comments what you guys think about 50 50 things um but yeah thank you for watching Kanto wins this 2 and oh um this was a cool game the, the the first game was a bit unfortunate with the hex at the end uh Kanto moves on to ult around five loses bracket and kick is unfortunately out yeah i was kind of rooting for both players um, yeah, I mentioned it a bit at the ending of the f first game where I kind of fucked up my, uh, my outro. But yeah, good luck to uh, Kanto in future rounds. And I guess good luck to kick for um, if he tries to qualify for Smog Tours. Because last Smog Tours he did really well. I think it was in semifinals. So good luck if you try to qualify again or like if you play any other tours. Thank you guys for watching. I wish you a fantastic day. And yeah, peace out, friends. Not sure, um, my man Swapa's playing later with Zomok. It's like 3 a.m. my time they're playing, so I'm, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to record that because I'm tired as shit. I only slept 3 hours last night, so we shall see if I'm if I'm gonna have more tour content today. If not, oh well, you will get more content tomorrow. Um, yeah, and peace out, friends.